Friday. I'm driving. Haven't had you in the car with me in quite a while. So I just got out of work. It is just about four o'clock. I left a few minutes early and I have two stops I have to make. So I have to go to the bank. I have to pick up my checks. Um, I don't write a lot of checks anymore because of online banking and whatever, but I do write checks for my rent and maybe one or two if I have to mail something in. So I have to stop the bank and get my checks. They are in. And then I have to go to Aldi. I do need some things at the grocery store and I don't want to go to Market Basket today. It's Friday. Though I think the worst times to go to Market Basket is probably Friday after work and Saturday morning and probably Sunday morning. Market Basket, if you don't have a Market Basket, um, very busy store. There's never really... Well, that was a very quick green light. Very quick green light. Anyways, if you don't have a Market Basket, it's a really great grocery store, but um, it's always crowded. There's never really a good time to go. So, I'm at a stoplight. Like I said, a very quick green light. I thought I was going to make it, but I guess not. So, yeah, we are going to go to the bank to get my checks, like I said, and go to Aldi. So, I will turn this around as soon as I get through this light, and I'll let you see downtown for a little bit. So, hold on. You know why? You know why the, the light turned red? Because someone pressed for the um, the call for the crosswalk. So that's why. Well, that's good. You know, stop in traffic to have let some go. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn this around so you can see um, some downtown. The weather here is nice. Nice and sunny. Ooh. Motorcycles everywhere. Um, nice and sunny. It is 68 degrees. Really nice. I didn't even check the forecast to see what the weekend's going to be like. Hopefully it's going to be nice because I am off. Um, and I have some things I want to do. I don't know if you saw my community post, but I have some things I want to change in my bathroom with summer being gone um, I want to make it a little more cozy for fall and winter so I'm going to be changing up the shower curtain and some other things but I don't want to spoil that video so I'm just not going to talk about it anymore and yeah downtown is pretty busy right now. We do a lot of outdoor dining here in my town. We had a lot of that during um, um, the C virus times where, I, I don't know about your towns if you had outdoor dining, but we had outdoor dining and we even had outdoor dining well into December and I want to say maybe even during the winter, weather permitting, as long as it wasn't snowing, um, because they had those outdoor heat things that people, that would warm up the, you know, the space around there, yeah, so, a lot of motorcycles right now, so people are um, still taking advantage of the outdoor dining, and honestly, before 2020, what happened in 2020, I don't really remember a lot of outdoor dining down here. As you see as I'm driving by, see, oh, see to the right, these little spots, that's where the outdoor dining is. I don't think we had a lot of outdoor dining at all in my town until that happened. So they just never stopped, and it's a nice thing. But they do stop in the winter now, um, where during the virus, people ate outside. And that's how businesses... Um, we're able to stay afloat as far as restaurants go, offering the outdoor stuff. So, yeah.
about speed walking. There goes the motorcycle. I have to listen to that. This person wants to just cross over. So I'm just going to be quiet and let you just enjoy the sounds of cars and whatnot. And talk a little bit. Sorry, I said that I wasn't going to talk. Um, I don't know if you saw my last video when I did the Panera Bread and the um, Dollar Tree Peach Cobbler. And I was worried about getting sick because um, I felt a little cold coming on and there was some people at work that had it. Well, um, I felt kind of bad yesterday and then I woke up feeling alright. I felt okay all day. I started sneezing a little bit this afternoon, so hopefully that's just it, and nothing comes of that, and uh, yeah, and then I spoke about taking the, um, some residents to Walmart, we did that, actually we didn't do it the day that I wanted to, we did it yesterday, so that was fun, it's fun to get them out, it's nice to get them out out of the facility and um, take them shopping. So uh, I took four residents with me and um, they bought things that they needed. And one of them bought a refrigerator for her room, a small little, you know, single person, little cute refrigerator, whatever you want to call it, a small one, but cute. And it's nice that they're able to have stuff like that in their room because you know, they're there to live. That is where they live. And we try to give them as best quality of life as possible and make their rooms homey. And we encourage people to bring stuff from home, a favorite chair or uh, photos to hang on the wall, stuff like that. So, yeah. That was fun. It was a lot of work. A lot of walking around, making sure they were okay. But that's all part of... Um, my position there is to do stuff like that. And another red light. And now it's green. Hopefully I can make this. I'm going left and it's busy. There's a lot of traffic. So I just got to get myself up here, right? yellow and it's red and I have no choice sorry guys I think I just broke the law well. okay so I definitely kind of turn left on a red and that's not a, 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 a good law or a, an acceptable thing to do that was a law breaking thing. But anyways, that was like way back there. And now we're just driving through the industrial park. I kind of went the wrong way um, to the bank, but whatever. We'll just drive through here. And yeah. This industrial park, I don't know how many years ago, they opened um, the far end of it when they made the, um, like the Walmart Plaza and stuff. So you could just cut through here to get to Walmart and all that other stuff, which is where Aldi is, but I have to skip past Aldi, go to the bank across the way, and yeah, like I said, I normally don't go this way, but that's what we have to do this time, so there's a lot of doctor's offices up here, um, businesses, all right, so here is a four-way stop, and I will definitely stop and wait my turn to go through. It's not very busy, not very busy, but here we go. Okay, so 
I just passed on my left, I don't think you saw it, a gym that I used to go to. Can you see that bright sun? I hope you guys aren't being blinded. I just looked at my camera. Um, a gym that I used to go to, it's called Anytime Fitness. I don't know if you folks have Anytime Fitness where you are, but it's open 24 hours a day. And I don't work out at 2 in the morning. I know some people probably do. People at work, whatever, weird hours. But they don't have any staff there at night on the overnight. And that would kind of scare me being at a gym um, by myself overnight like that. Would that scare you? It would definitely scare me. Um, I don't mind going to a gym that has staff working and I'm the only one in the gym like during the day, but I would not be okay with going to a gym that has absolutely no staff in it. No matter what time of day it is, especially at 2 or 3 in the morning. Okay, so that was fun. Got my checks. Now we will go to, because it's in a safe spot, now we'll go to Aldi. I don't need a lot. I'm not going to do a big grocery trip. I just don't have any fresh fruit. And milk is low. Actually, it's not low. I think it's tomorrow is the last day that is on, you know, it says October 12th on it. So I need to get some fresh milk. Um, before my son moved back home from the Navy, I never really bought milk at all. Very rare occasion that I bought milk because I don't drink milk, have it in cereal once in a while, and I didn't do a lot of cooking like I do now. Um, and that's not a bad thing that I'm cooking, but when he was gone for the four years in the Navy, it was just me and Max, the dog, but um, I didn't cook a lot for myself. I did a lot of soups and, and salads or whatever. And if I did cook anything, like a big meal, I froze it. I would divide it into, you know, containers and freeze it for, you know, further use or whatever. But I cook a heck of a lot more now that he is back. And, yeah. So here we go. Off to Aldi. to get in this other lane, but there's a huge truck, so let's scoot over real quick. There we go. And Aldi is right over here. This is in the same um, business development, I guess, as where Walmart is. There's some people arguing with each other. I don't know if you heard that. In the next when the argument, I'm going to be quiet so you can hear. Can you hear that? Oh, she said he's stupid. Oh, she said it's true. Did you hear that? Eavesdropping on a little fight. Well, you know what? They had the windows open and my windows were open. So, not a happy Friday night for that couple. Not a happy Friday night for that couple. And I'm just over here with my single self, getting some groceries. I'm gonna go home and do my single self thing, which is what I don't, I don't know what that is. Maybe relax, relax in the recliner, watch some TV, some YouTube. Honestly, that's the only thing I watch these days. I haven't even watched my retro TV in a while. If I turn my TV on, it's to watch YouTube and that's it. All right, we're pulling into parking spot here at Aldi. So 
So I'm going to go into Aldi, but I'm not going to um, take you in the store with me. But I am definitely at Aldi. Aldi. So I'm going to go in, get the few things that I need, just some fresh fruit and, I don't know, maybe some quick meals or something um, for lunch. And I'll come back and I'll show you what I got. But yeah, there's the store. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got. And I got two bags, or the bags that I have, the um, reusable bags here. Whoops, <laughs> sorry. These kind of caught up in there. I think I didn't get a lot for the amount I spent. So we're just gonna do a little car haul here. And I spent $49.45. I'm gonna take this sweater off it's kind of warm we are at that uh, part of the season where it's like really cold excuse me cold in the morning it was in the 30s last night cold in the morning and like really warm in the afternoon all right so 40 49 dollars and 45 cents so i'm just gonna hmm, the best way to do this i guess is to go and go through through um, the list like I did before. Okay, a gallon of milk. Got a gallon of whole milk was two fifty nine. So that's not that bad, right? Two fifty nine. Um, the no pulp orange juice. It's the what's the brand? Nature's Nectar, pulp free orange juice three forty five. So I think that's a little pricey. I've seen it cheaper at other stores. All right, so these are two new items. I love risotto, and these are new at Aldi. They're frozen. This is the Priano Sun Veggie Risotto, and it has, um, I'm lock my door. I don't know why, but I feel safer when I'm, my door's locked. Rice cooked risotto, Sun Veggie, Risotto, rice cooked in creamy sauce with vegetables. Okay, got one and I got another one. These people driving by are probably like, who is this chick talking to? Anyways, another Primavera risotto. Rice cooked in creamy sauce with vegetables. So those were $3.99 each. So a ready meal um, from Aldi already side dish $3.99 that's a little pricey and I knew they were $3.99 they were next to something that was like five something I'm like yeah no but $3.99 I don't know hopefully it will be worth the money so then I got I haven't been buying these but I bought two and the date on them is the 17th I bought two of the salad kits that I loved so much always from either Aldi or Walmart. I got two of these, the other ones down here. Hold on, I got two of those. One, should have had you believe me that I got two. Two, and those were, and I stopped buying them because they're getting high in price. $3.29. So that's not bad. I've seen them like $3.79. So that's not bad. That's justified. Then I got a thing of zucchini. Two things, two zucchinis. Um, $3.20. No, sorry. $3.29. $2.29 for these zucchinis. So not bad. And I got this thing of bread in this bag of heavy vegetables. All right. Then I got some feta cheese. Need my Doritos. Where's the feta cheese? Hold on. Where is the feta cheese? This is funny. I got groceries all over the place in my car. I should have just took this home and did it. But anyways, okay. Here's the feta cheese. This thing of feta cheese, feta crumbles, was a dollar ninety-nine. Then blue cheese, crumbled blue cheese, was three nineteen salsa. Where's my salsa? My fresh cut salsa. Better be mild. You know me and my salsa has been stuck here. I, yep. Got the mild salsa. I can't think of zucchini on my dashboard. Um, the fresh cut salsa was $2.49. Not bad. 
Then we're almost out of jelly. My son loves peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day for lunch. Um, and he's 23 years old. But anyways, it was a childhood favorite, and I guess it's an adult favorite. Berry Hill Concord Grape Jelly. Hi. <laughs> People watching me do a grocery haul in my car. Grape Jelly. Two fifty nine. All right, not bad. On to the Camp Campari. I just spit. You didn't see that, did you? I'm sorry if you did. Campari tomatoes. I love these. Campari tomatoes. Three seventy nine. Um, white mushrooms. Sliced white mushrooms is um, dollar seventy five. Then, over here, I've got a bag of the Cara Cara oranges. Cara Cara oranges for $4.49. Two more items. Nature's Own Bread, $3.27. I've seen it cheaper. I've seen it cheaper. I've even seen it cheaper at Walmart. Definitely at Market Basket. Stop and Shop has a really good wheat bread. Their store brand for like $2.49. But that's probably the cheapest thing they have at this store. $3.27. And then a bag of Doritos. Nacho cheese flavored Doritos for my son. $3. That's a good price for that. So all that was $49.45. Which I really I think is expensive for what I got. I didn't buy anything bad, anything processed, except for the Doritos. $50 for this little bit. Yeah. So now what I got to do is put all the stuff back. Put the cute little zucchini, which I just broke the seal doing this silly car haul. I think that's all that will go in that. Put this in the back seat. Actually, this is a supposed freezer bag so we'll zip this up <laughs> zip that up and there's the bread the burritos I'm gonna have to put this in another bag so um yeah hold on I'll be right back okay went back to the car I've got another bag and we'll put the bread and the Doritos in it. And we'll throw it back in there. And we got the milk. And I don't need it breaking, so. Oh, oh my goodness. Traffic is stopped for a bunch of Canadian geese. I gotta get this stuff back in here so I can show you these geese. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at these geese. They were in the road. They crossed the road. And yeah, a bunch of geese. The traffic, I looked up and it was stopped. So there's some across the way. See? Cars are slowing down because they see them. My Boston accent is coming through strong. Cars. Cars. Everybody else says cars. We say cars. Oh, look at the beeping at them. Huh. All right. So, you know what I need to do? I need to probably get these groceries home. So, I um, wasn't planning on doing a video with you guys this um, this afternoon. There I go, pulling my shirt up like I always do. But I said, you know what? I wanted to um, see you all before the weekend. I haven't done a video with you since Tuesday? Was it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. And... Um, yeah, it's Friday. I'm going to go home. I'm going to put these expensive groceries away. I'm probably going to take a hot bath. Maybe um, have a glass of wine. It is Friday. Don't judge me. And I'm just looking around at everybody looking at me talk to my cell phone. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to do something in the bathroom this weekend. Some little makeover. So watch for that. Um, happy Friday. I hope you're all well. I will talk to you soon. Bye.